this this whatever you want to call it uh, gay pride LGBTQ whatever the fuck you want to call it that and an extremely long list of other groups they're all created by the United States government as part of the so-called Confusopoly or false flag thing. I forgot the other word there. Uh, there was a there was a really specific word there. Anyway, it's it's a bunch of propaganda, false flags, a bunch of uh, government contrived confusopoly bullshit. Because they just want to keep everyone at each other's throats so that they don't make any real progress towards becoming the best type of individual they can be. It's a well-known stratagem of war. He who divides conquers. And for you Americans who want to believe that I'm wrong, check your normalcy bias privilege. Because one of your so-called founding fathers, Abraham Lincoln, said it. A house divided cannot stand. It's historically documented as an axiom. An axiom is something that is widely accepted so as to be true. It doesn't actually have to be true. You can believe a lie and it still be an axiom. There. There's some historic evidence and proof on the axioms as well as some military stratagems that go into what I'm telling you. Quite honestly, it looks like Black Lives Matter. It's just another fucking Confusopoly axiom that they're using to keep everyone divided. This is why I don't pay attention to the vast majority of politics or religion or any of the political or social or spiritual or religious activist groups. I just don't pay attention to them. I'll give a few of them a cursory glance, but all in all, it's just another brick in the wall. The wall that separates you, the individual, from your true potential. Ignore the bullshit. Learn to fucking think for yourself. Otherwise, you're just a mindless, sheeple, useless piece of shit that doesn't deserve to exist. Right. Here's another axiom that came out of a video game. A man chooses, a slave obeys. Here's an axiom that came out of Christianity, which before that was Catholicism. See if you can guess where this quote's coming from. In all my travels, this may be a paraphrase of the quote, 
out of all the men I had encountered, one out of every thousand could be said to be wise or intelligent, but one out of every thousand wise or intelligent men could said to be truly wise and no women. Why don't, uh, why don't somebody, you know, tell me where the fuck that came from? Yeah, I'm, I'm just being a jackass about that one. Because I love breaking through your normalcy bias and your pathetic, self-righteous, ego-induced, <laughs> over-inflated, egotistical of a psychological fuckboy complex. Well, let me take that back. Fuck, blo fuck boy implies male. Let's just use a, a general term. Bitch. I really do enjoy tearing everyone's egotistical inflated bitch attitude apart. I really do. So the more of this controversial bullshit I throw at you, the less you want to throw back at me. Why the fuck deal with bitch comments? Why, why the fuck even allow the opportunity for that to arise? I'm just going to wind up blocking those little bitches from even having anything to do with my channel. Get it through your fucking skull. There's over 7 billion fucking humans on this planet. You're just one little bitch. Hashing out a fuckboy or little bitch girl comment. Blocking you is not a fucking problem. Because out of those 7 billion, you being just one... There's a million more just like you. You're not even a dime a dozen. You're not even dirt cheap. You're cheaper than that. You're a penny a dozen, at best. But the people who will take the time to think about some of the stuff I'm saying and actually stay the fuck out of this shit show going on right now and work on improving themselves... Well, those are few and far in between. And when those people actually give a fuck to say anything, they're actually going to take the time to think about what they're saying before they say it. But for the rest of you, you're just kindling for the fires of what you're going to be calling hell. And to be quite honest, it's not just an axiom or a quote from another movie that the universe wastes nothing. It's a truth. That includes what you think is your consciousness. The anatomy of your spirit can get shredded down and recycled and repurposed. Just like taking a car apart and recycling pits of it. Or melting down aluminum cans so that you can reforge them into something else. recycling paper the universe is designed to favor recycling yeah granted here with a lot of things that humanity's done it takes a lot of effort to get started on recycling but that's because you're all so fucking lazy to begin with
didn't always used to be that way. But for the last 50 years, that's been the truth. For all of humanity, you've gotten way too complacent and way too lazy. So much so that you don't even think for yourselves. You just join mindless zombie groups. Because a man chooses, a slave obeys. Well, I think that's enough of me fucking rambling. Just for a filler video of me fucking with people's psychology again. But then again, this is the perfect time to be doing that. So I pose to you the choice. Click the like button or the dislike button or don't click the fucking button at all. It's not a binary option. There's three of them there. Same with the subscribe notification icon. bashing out a comment mm, there's other things I could say about that but that has way too many branches on that possibility same as using any of the links in the description I added a new one recently for a um, what is it what is it uh, a company that distributes um, vape juices good news is they've got it all the way to zero percent zero grams of nicotine so you can get those just for flavor if you want well I am fucking trying you know I'm trying to provide some mirage of value who knows maybe it's not a mirage maybe it's a fucking oasis or maybe it's just pissing in the fucking wind Allowing continuance to pass by will reveal. But till next time, fuck off. I'm done rambling for now.